the Queen's heartbreaking dying wish she hoped would make her father proud the late Queen Elizabeth II is believed to have taken an active part in arranging the details of her grand state funeral, but there was one last simple wish she had for herself. Welcome to Royal Expert if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning monarch in British history, reigning for more than 70 years from February 1952 until September 2022. She was 96 years old at the time of her death, but even so, the news of her death was a huge blow to the Queen. People all over the world. At her funeral, her coffin was moved down the Royal Mile to St Giles Cathedral in Scotland where it lay for 24 hours, guarded by the Royal Company of Archers. From there, she was taken to London to take part in a military procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall, where the Queen lay for four days. On September 16, Elizabeth's children held a vigil around the coffin, and the next day her eight grandchildren did the same. The coffin was then carried in procession to Wellington Arch before the state funeral at Westminster Abbey on the 19th of September. After the traditional service, the Queen's last trip ended in Windsor, where, after serving in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, she was buried privately in the King George VI Memorial Chapel. The late Queen is believed to have had an active role in planning her service, as details of the funeral have been discussed since the 1960s, but according to experts, Elizabeth's last wish had nothing to do with pomp and pageantry. What she wanted above all else was to be buried next to her parents, King George VI and the Queen Mother. Historian Robert Hardiman, author of A Queen of Our Time, A Life of Elizabeth II, told People magazine at the time, she had no desire to see a statue of herself or even to have a separate burial chamber within St. George's Chapel. He added, as her cousin Margaret Rhodes once said to me, she wanted to make her father proud. And we're sure she achieved this lofty goal, with royal biographer Penny Juna noting that the Queen continues to serve even in death. She told the publication, she didn't want that pomp and ceremony for herself, but she understood the role she played. Even in death, she was still serving. So the Queen was buried alongside her parents and her beloved husband Philip, was exhumed from the 200-year-old royal crypt so he too could share her final resting place. They were also buried alongside the Queen's sister, Princess Margaret. After her burial, some have claimed that there may have been another wish she had, peace between her family. Ingrid Seward, editor of the Royal Magazine, previously told the Mirror she believed the Queen did not want any turmoil between William and Harry to distract the monarchy. She wrote after the state funeral, over the coming days we should see more unity, but no hugging things and nothing to detract from Charles's smooth succession to the throne. I am sure the Queen hoped that would happen. The matter of the monarchy. It was a bit like the Welsh War in the 1990s. Thanks for watching till the end.